do you mind just listing off the other um, supplements that you have found are very effective for for many people? So sodium bicarb or baking soda is one. What are some of the other ones? Yep, yeah, we'll go kind of in reverse order. Beta alanine is another very classically effective one. Um, similar idea of sodium bicarbonate. So it's it's, it's going to Beta alanine is going to come in. It's going to be converted and stored as what's called carnosine in the muscle. And carnosine is an intracellular buffer. So in other words, it's just going to delay the buildup of acid. Um, so, so fatigue blocker, if you will. So very effective, very cheap, very safe, um, well studied. The top one though of all of them by far that has an incredibly strong safety profile. It has. It is a cheap. It is a simple form to get. Has a important magnitude of effect and is uh, effective across multiple domains of physical health and performance. And it is because of that, it is my crown jewel. It is, in my opinion, without question, the Michael Jordan of all supplementation. And that's creatine monohydrate. It affects so many things. We typically think about it as it's muscle stuff, right? You've, you've talked kind of, you quickly were talking about the creatine phosphate system, but we have to realize um, the mass majority of research on creatine phosphate is not in sport performance and has not been for 20 years. It's in clinical, and it has everything from effects um, on the neurological system to there have been associations to mental health and depression. And to be very clear, I am certainly not saying you can take creatine and cure anything. And I'm not saying it's going to stop you from depression or anything, but I'm saying there's there's a lot of research in these areas, and there's a reason people are doing it. Yeah, I completely agree. And if you're willing, I'd love to have you back for us to do a discussion on creatine and the brain or creatine in the nervous system. Yeah. That would be a lot of fun. And maybe we can do a, a kind of a journal club in advance of that. Uh, for yeah. those that don't know, a journal club is where um, scientists uh, read a bunch of papers and then argue about them, discuss them, and try and extract the, the kind of um, uh, agreed upon center of mass, uh, if you will. I, I think uh, I've long been taking five grams of creatine monohydrate per day for mainly for the cognitive effects. Yeah. It, um, I sense and effect. Uh, that's obviously anic data, but there, I think there are a lot of data out there as, as you There's enough. That you're, not, you're not crazy. There's enough there. Uh, and in fact, there's enough mechanism now um, to understand the metabolic needs. Mm -hmm. People think the meta, um, I'm a muscle guy, right? So I'm going to think about the metabolism needed to fuel muscle. But we forget cells, mm -hmm. immune cells, red blood cells, nerve cells, astrocytes, brain, all this stuff requires energy. And it's all going through metabolism. Super interesting. We, we will do the D 